Well, it's pay day, it's the day I've been waiting for and I'm just about to go into a shop and see if I can see my book. It's exciting. So here we go, walking in. There it is. Doesn't it look great? Next to Andy Harris' book as well, that's brilliant. Let's just focus on one. Oh, look. Wow. There's loads of them as well, there's quite a few. That's very exciting. So there we go, that's my first glimpse. In a shop, yay! Very exciting. <laughs> so, uh, breakfast of champions on P Day. Very, very excited about that. Um, I had an all-day breakfast thing at Costa and an absolute bath of coffee. And um, all I'm doing now is I'm just. I've had so many lovely tweets from people on Twitter. Everyone's sort of really excited, which is great. I'm really pleased that people are really chuffed about it. So uh, it's all good, it's all good. And I'm uh, gonna head off to Hop Collins in a bit, uh, go and have some lunch, meet the team, so I'll take you with me and show you what it's like. But I'm very excited, I'm grinning like a loon today. So here we are at Hop Collins, all very exciting, and I'm gonna go in. So here we are in Hop Collins Towers, it is very, very swanky and very high up and very white. Um, this is where I come a couple of times a year to come and meet my editor and the publishing team at Avon. Very exciting. So I'm at a swanky book launch. How mad is this? I didn't have this last time. I'm going to show you everyone's here. There's so many lovely people and it's really nice. And uh, you can see some halls. It's very, very posh. So here we go. Let me show you my swanky book launch. Look at this. It's so swanky. Kind of pies and everything. And just out here, if I dip down, you can see some pools out of the window, which is very nice. We'll go on the balcony later on. And I'm just about to give a reading, so it's very exciting. If I've kept her up, that's a good sign. <laughs> definitely. But then there's, and it, and it definitely had a moment where once or twice, like more than once or twice, I had a bit of a tear in my eye. And I would like, I mean, personally, Uncle Doug's Mighty Mags, like completely, Kim Lee Redden yeah. sold it for me. I, I think they're fantastic characters. And uh, your strongest yet, pleasure to work with, fantastic work ethic. Um, yeah, thank you so much. And congratulations, Donna Fred. <laughs> too much on Twitter as it is anyway. But with my vlogs, as, as Will will know, <laughs> too much, normally when I'm meant to be working. Um, but it's it's really nice to meet so many of you and I, if I haven't chatted to you yet, come and grab me because I just want to make sure that I get around to say you know, hello to everyone and also to thank you so much for your support because when you're sat in a room by yourself with your story, the nicest thing ever is to actually Get, you know, have somebody sort of say, you know, if you're having a bad day, sort of cheer you up, or you suddenly have a problem, a question about something to do with, you know, a bit, bit of editing for the book, and then I can put something on Twitter and I get eight replies from people and they're all really, really helpful and it's just lovely. Um, or even, you know, I tweet about what sandwich I've got and everybody tells me what their sandwich is. It just sort of makes me <laughs> not so much like a hermit, which is why I love Twitter to death. Um, but yeah, thank you so much. And this is just my way of saying thank you. So I'm going to read you, and this is a world exclusive because I haven't actually done a reading before, so if I fall over my words, 
Just <laughs> forgive me. I haven't had much red wine, so I'll keep it. Do you want some more first? <laughs> <laughs> just bring the bottle in and put it there. Yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> right, I'm going to read you about one of the nightmare weddings that Romilly, uh, Romilly Parker is the big character in Started With a Kiss. And uh, through the course of a year, they play at all sorts of different weddings. Beautiful weddings, weird weddings, overly expensive weddings, cheap as chips weddings. Um, I sing with a wedding band, and so a lot of my gig stories have been in here. I have to say, I didn't make this one up. Um, but the, gig that I, the wedding gig that I'm going to tell you the story about um, is actually something that I had my mother... My, when I told my mum that I was getting married, because I got proposed to last at Christmas Eve. Oh. <laughs> um, but when I told my mum I was getting married, she wanted to know the details straight away, so I came up with a whole load of decoy weddings to mention to her so that it would keep her off the scent. And one of the ones was this one, which is called the Bunny Ears Wedding. What better way to celebrate your commitment to the love of your life on Easter Saturday than an Easter bunny theme? <laughs> to our collective horror, we discovered that not only were the entire bridal party resplendent in baby pink furry bunny ear headbands, but also every guest was expected to wear them too. <laughs> According to the wedding planner, each invitation had stated firmly that nobody, be they bridal party member or guest, would be admitted to the nuptials if they failed to come attired in the correct headgear. Needless to say, the wedding entertainment wasn't exempt from this edict either, and the best man insisted we comply before we were even allowed to set foot into the venue. <coughs> Tom, who's um, going to tell you, Tom is the guitarist, very cool, you know, likes playing the guitar because he gets lots of ladies, and he's, he's got a little gaggle of people that follow him around to all these gigs. He's wearing pink fluffy bunny ears at this time, so this just gives you an idea. Tom's expression conveyed what we were all feeling. I used to think I was a serious musician, he thundered. The impact of his fury, dampened somewhat by the ridiculous fluffy appendages strapped to his head, that bobbled as he spoke. What kind of strange, demented psycho de demands bunny ears for their wedding? It just makes a mockery of the whole event. Now, I would love to say that the Easter theme ended with the fluffy ears, but I'm afraid I'd be lying. <laughs> Yellow fluffy toy chicks marked each play setting and were scattered across the top table. Pastel pink, blue, yellow and green ribbons were tied around the white chair covers and looped around the marble pillars in the entrance to the reception hall. Cuddly toy rabbits were everywhere, nestling around the Easter egg topped wedding cake, sitting in the middle of tables holding baskets stuffed with daffodils and white tulips, and real white rabbits sat dejectedly in a caged area on a strip of sickening green astroturf in the middle of the room. For bridal folks, I hope you're taking Will, Will over here as a interior decorator, so if you know, if I see any of this on your blog, I'm um, yeah. inspiration about. For bridal favours, each guest received a box of Cadbury mini eggs and an Easter egg hunt had been organised for the children between the afternoon and evening receptions. Worst of all, garishly pink fluffy bunny rabbit tails were affixed to the back of each chair. <laughs> it was hideous, a case of taking a funny idea way too far, eventually taking precedence over everything that should have been lovely about a spring wedding. And as for the gig, well, you try giving a polished performance with 200 blatted guests John travolta to Night Fever in matching Leferine accessories. <laughs> <laughs>